I'm Megan Cope and I'm at a GP um, working here in Catherine at Worley Worlingjang Aboriginal Health Service. And this is Jamal, um, who's my husband. Um, and together we made the journey up to Catherine about 11 months ago with our two young boys, Adam and Sammy. Catherine's in the Northern Territory. It's about a three hour drive south from Darwin. GPPHCNT helped us settle in. I went through an orientation course, a cultural training, which was a very important part of actually settling in and feeling that you're actually supported. I guess my sense of travel and adventure starts when I was quite young. I was probably lucky to have parents as teachers and I was fortunate to travel with them to live in Christmas Island when I was in Year 5 and Year 6. Um, and I think that was one of the best times of my life. I didn't do medicine straight away. I was lucky to get a job with Care Australia. A number of us were sent over to the north of Iraq to work with the Kurdish people after the first Gulf War. And I spent a year working, um, doing field work essentially. We're living in Wollongong prior to coming here and I think I'd just not long completed my training as a, as a GP and I thought, I think it's time that we, we got up and tried something different. And I thought, well, we, we, need to, we need to be able to expose our kids, to be able to give them a sense that they can actually um, uproot themselves if they have to and know that they can always go somewhere and find a new place and find friends and really get a taste of what it's like in a different place and have different sets of values um, which has been which is I think really really important because it just exposes them at a younger age to so many more opportunities. It was about three months after our arrival here in Catherine um, late last year that I certainly felt that I had to start asking myself questions have we done the right thing and I think it's really important to know that you do have phases where you know you can be challenged, um, not only for yourself, but for, you, for the whole family. I stopped uh, doing interpreting after arriving in, in, in Catherine. Not many people um, from a Middle Eastern background who need the service here. The first couple of months were really stressful, and that's because my only contact was, is, is with Megan and the kids. But I found myself um, teaching at a primary school. So I found myself um, leading a team of um, under 10 years of age um, um, of soccer, coaching them. Never thought I would be a teacher one day or be a soccer um, coach, but now I am. And then it's full on. Yeah, one thing I, um, I missed out when I was um, before moving to Catherine is that I never had the opportunity to spend more time or enough time with, with, uh, with the family, uh, particularly with the children. Um, I just um, discovered my children after arriving in Catherine. Now I know more about them, about their needs and how their behavior. And, uh, and I think Catherine gave me this opportunity to know my children better. And how long have you been out here I haven't had to actually reskill or do any extra special um, training to prepare myself for coming here. Non-procedural GP um, with a bit of a background in antenatal care was the major requirement to come here. Since I've been here, I felt the need to up update my emergency skills and we've been able to do it through courses. We essentially practice Western medicine, um, but it's done in a culturally sensitive environment and I think that's what makes Worley special. The Aboriginal health workers' role is quite broad at Worley. Um, they're the first contact and make the consultation work in a different way. There's a different feel. You can actually bond a lot more. We're not bound by 15 minute appointments. There's a social emotional team trained in dealing with the depression, the issues related to people um, who were taken away from their families, the stolen generation. 
Um, I was approached by Royal Flying Doctors late last year to see if I would be willing to participate in their remote women's health programs. It's a highlight um, of, of my month to be able to go out to these places and experience something very different. I think there's, a, there's a, certainly a, a world outside of city, urban, general practice um, that is, is very special and um, the only thing that's stopping you is, oh, what is my partner going to do? Oh, what about my kids? How are they going to manage with all the sport and what's the schooling going to be like? They're all the questions that are paramount that kind of sometimes keep people in one place. I think where we go to from here or how long we stay, it's, it's too hard to answer at this point in time. I guess we're just enjoying the moment and just enjoying the time that we do have here. We, we got adapted to this new um, lifestyle and we're quite happy, very happy. I miss the sounds of the sea sometimes. There's other things that have taken over that. We've actually gained a lot more. There's a lot that you can actually learn and bring back if you do always intend to go back to, to where your roots are. You bring, a, you bring a lot and you can take a lot more back. <laughs>